Well, g'day, I'm Scott Gray, and welcome to part three of the Angler Diary program video series. Today, I'm at the Victorian Fisheries Research Laboratory at Queenscliff, and we're going to be talking to some of the fisheries scientists about how the information collected in the Angler Diary program is used. Let's go take a look inside and meet some of the researchers. Well, here we are with Daniel Grixty, who's the Victorian Angler Diary Program Facilitator. Dan, how are you going, mate? Good, mate. Good, Good to see you. Um, mate, can you tell me a little bit more about what happens once the diaries come in from across the state and they come into here? What happens then? Yeah, well, we receive everything by mail. Then they come to my desk or somebody else's in the team. Mm -hmm. uh, we open them up and go through each page to check that the data's consistent. Always get some interesting comments in there. Yeah, yep. Then they go across to the data entry staff and then they go to the computer and we can see what's been happening. Okay Dan, so apart from entering the data and validating the diaries, what other things does your role involve? Yeah, well, we've got 300 or so anglers in the program now, so you know, there's, there's a lot of information exchange with newsletters and websites yep. and, and you know, day-to-day -day communication with them. But we also have some really interesting projects that we work through uh, with angler diaries. Yep. And what are some of those current projects at the moment? Yeah, a really interesting one in Port Phillip Bay is the, these new recreational fishing reefs to enhance fishing opportunities for Victorian anglers. Yep. And what are angler diarists doing uh, as part of the program to help get information about those reefs? Yeah, well, they're involved in going out to these fishing reefs. Uh, we have quite a strategic experimental design where they attend to the reefs on certain days and in certain times and record their catches and we're trying to track the change in the catch before the reefs went in and after the reefs yep. uh, went in, yeah. So that's a, well, that's a really important thing, I guess, or really important way that you know, volunteers are getting involved in trying to monitor how well these reefs are going, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's about improving recreational fishing, yeah. so that's we don't know what they're thing. catching, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Sounds like a great project, Dan. Is there any projects going on in the freshwater with regard to the Angler Diary Program at the moment? Yeah, well, as part of the Bushfire Recovery Program, we're stocking trout into the Goulburn River. Now the fish that you're letting go into the Goulburn River are actually fin clipped, aren't they? So you know which ones have been stocked and which ones are wild. Yeah, exactly. And we've got 15 anglers in the Goulburn River at the moment recording, yep. and they record whether they are clipped or not, and we can tell exactly where those fish came from. This helps us determine the effectiveness of the stocking in the Goulburn River. All right, Dan, sounds like some great projects there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to head off and talk to another member of the Angler Diary team. So Dan, thanks for your time. No Good worries, to talk mate. to you. Good on you. Thanks, Scotty. Simon, how you going, mate? Good, Scott. How you going? Good, good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now, I'm here with Simon Conran here, who is the Senior Fisheries Researcher here at Queenscliff. And I've got a few questions for you about stock assessment. Uh, what's your main role here with regard to the Angler Diary Program? Well, I'm a scientist, as you said, I work here at Queenscliff. Yep. And over the last 15 years, we've been particularly interested in studying stock assessment of recreational fisheries populations. Stock assessment, it's about all the attributes of a fish population, including the abundance, the growth, spawning success, mortality and the impact of fishing. We've developed angler diary programs looking at the assessment of fish stocks. This is an innovative tool working in partnership with anglers whereby we get anglers to catch a broad range of sizes of fish, particularly black brim, estuary perch and mulloway, to tell us more about the stock structure of the fish population and how we can predict how the fishery is going to be in the future. And it's a pretty unique program too, isn't it? Because you're getting information from anglers that fish for particular species, which is pretty unique that you might be able to go out and get using other traditional means through, say, you know, netting surveys and things like that. So it's quite unique, isn't it? Yeah, it's been a fantastic um, project. Um, we've worked together with specialist brim anglers, uh, perch anglers. Uh, they have a good understanding of the fish stocks and they can really guide us in what's the best way to sample uh, both fish above the size limit and below the size limit. Because we spoke in part one to Ken Radley in Warrnambool and he'd actually been in the program for quite a long time. Uh, so he'd been collecting, oh, I don't know, for over 10 years I think he's been collecting data for. Can you give us some specific examples of how Ken's information has been used uh, to measure fish abundance? Well, if you look at Ken's catch rates over time, you can see that his catch rates have gradually increased. And if we have a look at the size composition data, and Ken measures all the fish that he catches, you can see that there's a, there's a group of fish here that are now 10 years old that have pretty well sustained the population over the last decade. So as you can see, information that's collected by people like Ken and the Angler Diary Program is really important and can be used as a stock assessment tool, which is vital uh, for sound fisheries management, isn't it? Yeah. 
All right, mate. Good to talk to you today. We'll catch up with you. Well, there you go. Angler Diary programs are an important part of fisheries management and they create great partnerships between anglers, scientists and managers, which is important for sound fisheries management. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video today. And if you're interested in Angler Diary programs in your state, check out your state fisheries website. Thanks and good fishing.